Steve Moore, world-renowned economist, formerly of the Trump administration, Heritage Institute, uh, before that. Steve, uh, good to see you. Uh, could it get any worse? Uh, it was a bad day for the White House, no question about it. And Leland, I think you did a very good summary. I can't much uh, improve on that. I'll just make a couple of additional points. Number one, you're exactly right that the gas price had been coming down. So a lot of us, including me, thought we'd get a pretty good uh, inflation report because we're all seeing you know, that dollar reduction in gas at the pump. But as you correctly point out, all of these other vital essential things that we buy, like food, like groceries, like health insurance, like transportation costs, all of those went up and they actually counteracted the reduction in gas prices. So that's the big problem. And look, Americans feel this one every day. This isn't something, Leland, you and I can spin inflation because people know what the inflation is. In fact, if anything, when I go to the gas pump or when I go to the grocery store and people see me, they'll, they'll get mad at me and say, why are you saying inflation is only 8%? It's really 15 or 20% because I'm paying so much more for my electric utility bill or my groceries. So the real inflation that people are, are feeling is a little bit worse than, than the official numbers. And of course, then the, the, the collapse in the stock market today for anyone who has a 401k plan, that's really bad news. It was brutal. It seemed almost like a harbinger of things to come, right, in terms of how this works. The, the president made the point the Inflation Reduction Act is going to reduce uh, inflation, uh, something virtually every economist disputes and something virtually uh, every business person disputes. And, and anybody who professionally manages money disputes as well. So people who have skin in the game other than mm -hmm. politicians. Uh, are we to expect that even though gas prices continue to come down, um, inflation is going to continue to to roar in this way? You know, I I do think inflation is going to come down a bit from this eight to nine percent level. Uh, I think we're going to see, you know, inflation go to about six percent or so. But that's still a high level of inflation. Now, remember, Leland, what the Fed target said as its rate that it wants to see. That's two percent. So right now we're four times higher than the rate that they want to see, if I'm right, will still be three times higher. Now, here is the problem, Leland, with the economy and the reason the stock market collapsed today. Because these higher inflation rates yeah. are going to force the Federal Reserve Board to raise interest rates even more than they expected. And that takes some of the wind out of the sails. So I'm worried that you're going to see a kind of softening of the economy over the months ahead as mm -hmm. the Fed raises rates. And this is going to require not just Fed rate increases, but it's also going to require exactly the opposite of what Biden is doing. We have to cut government spending, not add to it. Yeah, you, you think about what that means for the American consumer. Mortgage rates goes up, so the value right. of your house goes down. Credit card the way, rates... Did, sorry to interrupt, but did you see what happened today? Mortgage rates went what, way up. So. Right. Mortgage rates in, in many markets went over 6%. No, no mortgage rates time. goes up. The value of your house goes down. Exactly. And, 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 and credit, cost, credit and cards rates buying a new house goes go up. up. So, uh, yeah. Car loan prices go up. Everything yeah. goes up. Yeah. Um, is the president, you think, properly preparing people for what's to come? No, I think that, you know, the problem with an event like that they had today, Leland, is it's out of touch with Americans. You got 70 to 75 percent of Americans who think the economy is going in the wrong direction. And Joe Biden's having a victory celebration in the White House. Now, maybe if you live in Washington, D.C., you feel everything's wonderful because we're the swamp. But outside on Main Street, America, that's where people aren't feeling the love and that's where the people are feeling the financial strain. I mean, Leland, the average family adjusted for inflation over the last year because of this high inflation has lost three to four thousand dollars in purchasing power. That's a lot. No, it's, it's huge. You're talking about five percent of the, the average yeah. income, average income that's or more. Right. Uh, you know, Steve, the reason I've always enjoyed talking to you, you have the ability uh, to be in the swamp, but related back uh, to Main Street. Few economists <laughs> uh, do. It's good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a swamp creature myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest about it. Most people aren't. <laughs> I come from there, I know. Jason Nichols joins us now, political commentator, senior lecturer at the University of Maryland, equally honest and jovial as Steve Moore is, but perhaps on the other side. Uh, are Democrats being honest with themselves about how much Americans feel they are hurting and don't believe the rhetoric? Well, I'll tell you this. I think that... Uh, Democrats 
uh, buy food, they pay for health care, they do everything that everybody else, it seems that we seem to think, even if you live in the proverbial swamp, that you don't live in America. And we all live in America. We're all dealing with these price uh, hikes. And I think people are concerned. Now, what I think people need to understand is that inflation is really the job of the Fed to handle. That's literally oh. their mandate. That's literally their job. And right now they're raising rates. It's going to cause uh, some some issues in our economy and other right, but, we, but come on, yeah, Jason, we, Professor, we can all agree, okay, that, that runaway government spending in the midst of inflationary times doesn't help. I mean, there, there's no way well, to spin that. Hold on, just let me, just hear me out. The, the problem for the Biden administration, as I see it, maybe I'm wrong, is that not that what they're saying now might be wrong, it's what they're saying in the past has been wrong. Take a listen. They believe the impact will be temporary, transitory, however you want to refer to it. Most economic analysts have believed that it will have a temporary or transitory impact. Most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and are expected to be temporary. I personally believe that um, this represents transitory factors. So how do the American people square believing the White House and Democrats now as they campaign for November saying inflation's going to come down when they were so wrong in the past. So we did see some price uh, hikes that have come down. For example, gas prices. Uh, we've seen them tank and go really down. And that's why you see that overall number in inflation has actually gone down two tenths of a point. I know that, you know, people oh, want to. Jason, come on. Gas prices are up a dollar thirty since President Biden took office. The inflation number today was way more than expected. They wouldn't have had the event if they didn't think the, the numbers were going to be negative. Come on. Really. Oh, the, 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 the numbers are not where we want them to be. I mean, I think the Fed is determined to get this down to two percent. And that's a long, we're a long ways away and we're going to need uh, more significant reductions. But it is important to point out what has happened thus far. And in terms of the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, I think one of the things that you're discounting is how this is going to drop energy prices, how this is going to affect health care prices that you just noted went up 24 percent. It's going to go down a whole lot more when prescription drugs and health care prices drop with the Inflation Reduction Act. So I think you know, the tax credits that people are going to get for being more energy efficient, that's going to help people save money in the long run. So this idea that this will have no effect or that this was just this is runaway government spending is just outright false. I, I, I really want to believe you, right, because we all want prices to come down. You got J.P. Morgan, Inflation Reduction Act will have no measurable impact on inflation. Uh, J.P. Morgan, U.S. Inflation Act will hardly curb inflation from Bloomberg. Voice of America News, Inflation Reduction Act may have little impact uh, on inflation. I have not yet heard a single professional economist or money manager who does this for a living put a marker down uh, that they have to pay for uh, with, with money that they manage, betting that inflation is going to come down and this is going to work. Not once. Here's, here's the thing, Leland. I think... Uh, and, and if you're going to look at this overall, or if you're going to look at certain areas where the Inflation Reduction Act actually affects, like I said, like with energy and health care, I think prices are going to go down in those areas. Now, well, is great, that but, if they stay, but if they go up by an equal or greater amount with food, how does that help people? Yeah, no. Is it going to uh, affect the, the price of eggs? No. Is it going to affect the price of margarine? No. But what it will do, hopefully, in concert with what's the, what the Fed is doing, uh, which is by raising rates, uh, we are going to feel some economic pain. And, and, you know, your previous guest, who's an economist, was saying, you know, oh, the Biden administration is not preparing people. But if you listen to what Jerome Powell said, he said, look, this is going to be painful. Yep, he, he did. did not, he did not mince words uh, about what his goal was and what the goal of the Fed is. You actually preview this in an interesting way, right? Because the, the argument now is going to shift to it's the Fed, it's the Fed, it's the Fed. We, we Democrats are doing the best we can. Jason, we got to run. It's good to see you, Professor. All right. Thanks a lot, Lee. Thank, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven 
unbiased coverage.